After using my homemade bandsaw for a year, I've decided I should make some improvements. Back when I built it, I used Teflon to make the blade guides, but I don't think this material is hard enough for this purpose. I've also noticed the table is bent because of all the tension it has withstood, due to it being made with two plywood pieces glued together and a HPL sheet. You can see the condition of the guides here. They're quite warped. I'll use some pieces of HPL to make them again. It's a very hard material, and it's ideal for a guide. I cut them to length with a table saw, and with a 3D router, I made some adjustment grooves. I attach the new guides and it looks like they will work much better. Here you can see how the table is warped. I disassemble it and remove the hinges. While I'm at it, I'll fasten a more sturdy set of hinges, the kind used in interior passing doors. I'll cut the new table with my multi-purpose workbench, using hard birch plywood. Now I work out the position of the hole on the table and machine it with a 3D router. For the upper part of the tabletop, I'll use another HPL board I had lying around in my workshop. I cut it to size on the workbench by reducing the circular saw speed.
To make the hole, I'll reduce the router speed a little as well. I'm going to cut it again to make a groove for the miter gauge and other accessories to slide on. I'll try to make it with the same measurements as in the old table. Now I mark and drill some countersunk holes to screw on the HPL panel to the plywood. I cut a rabbit on the table to screw on the front part more comfortably and accurately. I mark and drill holes with a column drill. Now I work out the position of the new hinges and make some gaps to fit them in. I have to modify the pieces where I will attach the hinges. Now I can check whether the hinges are properly placed and all that's left is to screw this piece which locks the table at an angle back on the rear. I attach the blade to the saw and adjust the screw so that the table is square with the blade. I've also made this zero clearance with a HPL sheet. I make sure all the accessories slide on the table groove properly and run some tests. Looks like the enhancements were worth it. See you soon.